In this video, the third in the series, we're going to look at how horses live in the wild, or at least in a free living situation. It's important to look at what horses do naturally so that you can aim to provide at least some of those important lifestyle features for your horses. It's actually easier than you think to do this. Stick with this video series and you'll learn how. Please be sure to give this video the thumbs up and if you'd like to become a more knowledgeable horse owner, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to be notified when a new video becomes available every week. As you learned in the previous video, they eat a very high fibre, low energy diet. This means that they have to graze for long periods each day in order to get enough calories. An important fact is that they tend to spend their grazing time filling up on fibre rather than seeking higher nutrient but lower fibre plants. Remember about the acid in the stomach. They're constantly aiming to buffer that acid by eating lots of fibre. Free living horses live in a herd and are on the alert much of the time. But alert behaviour is shared between adult herd members so that individuals are not exhausted. A big advantage to living in a herd is that individuals can take it in turns to relax because there's many eyes and ears to look out for danger. Remember, horses live in what's called a home range. Their home range contains all of the resources that they need such as feed, water, shade and shelter. Remember, living in a home range means that they stay in one area even though that area may cover hundreds of square miles and it also means eating the plants throughout the year from very fresh and green in the spring to more fibrous in the winter. In an area with plentiful resources the home range is relatively small perhaps only a few square kilometres or miles. But when the resources are more scarce the home range will be much larger perhaps hundreds of square kilometres or miles. Wild or free living horses can cope with a variety of climates ranging from very cold through to hot but they struggle with very hot humid climates. Horses do very well in dry cold weather they can graze and dig in the snow for food their high fibre diet keeps them warm because as fibre is digested it gives us lots of heat in winter their food source is even higher in fibre than it is in summer because the plants become more fibrous as they age and this helps to keep them warmer still. By the way, there are three reasons why horses don't do well in hot, humid weather. One, the larger the body size of an animal, the longer it takes to warm up, but also the longer it takes to cool down. Two, a horse relies on sweating to cool down and this doesn't work very well in high humidity. And three, as already mentioned, a horse's diet is very high in fibre and this gives off heat as it digests. Please comment below with what you found interesting about this video so far. In the rain, the natural coat pattern of the horse wicks the water off the body. Coping with temperature extremes uses up a lot of that stored energy or body fat so it's necessary for them to gain weight through the summer so they can survive through the winter. By the end of winter they'll have lost quite a bit of weight. This is a natural cycle for free living horses to gain weight through the summer and lose it through the winter. Mares produce a foal most years. In fact they usually produce a foal two out of every three years on average. This uses up huge amounts of energy as they can be feeding a foal at foot and pregnant at the same time. Stallions work hard to keep their band of mares together and to service mares during the breeding season. Colts use up lots of energy learning how to be stallions. All of the members of the herd actively take part in daily herd life. A free living horse doesn't tend to live as long as a domestic horse so this is a downside of being a free living horse if you like. How long they live is dependent on how fibrous the plants are that they eat, as these wear the teeth down. Once the teeth are worn out completely, the horse can no longer survive. So, free living horses have a low energy diet for much of the year, while at the same time, they're constantly moving. They're on the alert. 
they're coping with a range of temperatures and they're reproducing. And they're never wormed, have their hooves trimmed, have their teeth attended to or are rubbed. Horses have had 10 million years to get it right. We need to be careful when we think we know better than nature. In this video, the third in the series, you've learned about how horses live in the wild or free living situation. This is important information so that you can aim to provide at least some of those important lifestyle features for your horse or horses. As I said at the beginning of this video, it's easier than you think. Make sure you watch the rest of this video series and you'll learn how to, you can use this knowledge to create a better lifestyle for your horses. If you've enjoyed this video, please let us know by liking it. Subscribe and share with your fellow horsey friends and please leave a comment with what you found interesting. Make sure you look out for the next video in this series. There's a link below. You can get the whole mini course about horse grazing characteristics for free. See the link. If you're interested in learning more about better horse management by learning about what is really important to your horse, we have a private Facebook group, but do the course first and see if this interests you.